Hello and welcome back to day two of Applied Intelligence Live here in Austin. I'm delighted to be joined by Lauren Heisey, who's Hyper Automo Automation Lead at FPT Software. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me, Susie. So you were here at the event yesterday yes. talking about the role of digital twins in automation. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, my, my speech was really about um, um, creating a self-funding type of environment for um, enabling all the different technologies and combining those technologies together so we can get um, cost savings, um, increase operational efficiencies, power to employees, and just kind of thinking of the ways of how we can also increase uh, the profit margin, but also keep our customers happy as well. And so um, can you tell us a little bit more about Digital Twins and how you view their future applications as the technology continues to yeah. evolve? So I think with the Digital Twins, what's really great about that is it's a simulation, right? It's a simulation of the real world of like yeah, either processes or the objects that are out there or even you know something that's happening in the manufacturing environment. So use of the Digital Twins helps um, companies figure out, okay, where do we need to make improvements or where do we need changes? And maybe let's fit and also get, gather some real world data that's coming in from the, um, from like IOT, but then how do we make those improvements, but we don't disrupt what's going on today. So that way kind of experimenting in those environments first before we push it out into production. And how are the companies you're working with leveraging AI and IOT to digitize their supply chains? So a lot of them are using, so if we start to think about the digital twins, right, let's let's figure out what are the new technologies that are emerging that are coming out. So we have, you know, instead of, lot, right now we have the new shiny object in the room, which is generative AI. So but do we want to just throw that out to the masses or do we want to make, make more strategic approach? So by using the IoT, using the data from, you know, from the physical stuff that's out there and then using and then putting that into the digital twins and then enabling AI, allows the companies to strategically think about, okay, how do we make improvements? What's better for, um, not just better for our customers, better for our employees, and then better for our environment? And then by pu by pushing those out, getting it's basically getting rid of some of the waste that's in the, in the process or getting rid of the mundane stuff so that employees and um, can get things done a lot faster, more efficient, which then also then would help the, uh, which then makes the supply chains more efficient, which then makes customers happy. And like you say, lots of these buzzwords that we're hearing at the events, you know, Gen AI, digital yeah. twins, how they can seem intimidating and like theoretical. Can you give me sort of three top steps that people, enterprises can take this from theory to action? Theory to action, so yeah. So what I talked about yesterday was one, let's, let's where's your biggest b business problems happening or your biggest pain points? By under just understanding this first, what are the business, your pain points? And then go in and do like a discovery, right? Understanding what the business goal is or understanding what the business problem is and then equate that into something financial so that you could create an ROI. But then looking at the processes, I think that's the most important thing that we also need to look at is the processes and what are causing those problems. And then how do we solve those problems using the right technology at the right place? So right. that's, and that, so it's just taking it very simple. So once you pick the right technology, then you implement it and then you evaluate to make sure that it is doing what you want it to do. Right. And then you keep refining and optimizing. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Yes. And I really hope you enjoy your rest of the day at the show. All right. Thank you so much for having me, Susie.